These days, Pepsi has become a huge brand, and it's hard to go anywhere without seeing a can or a bottle of Pepsi. But it hasn't always been this way. So, where did it all start? To answer that question, we have to go all the way back to the beginning in 1893. Our story has humble beginnings in the small town of New Bern, located in North Carolina, famous hometown of Pepsi creator Caleb Bradham. Caleb Bradham was born in North Carolina in 1867 and spent the formative years of his life as a pharmacist. This all changed in 1983 when he developed and created a drink he would name Brad's Drink and later renamed to Pepsi Cola in 1898. Before we look into the way Pepsi has evolved over the years, I think it's first important to understand where the name came from and what had inspired it. The original name, Pepsi Cola, came from the combination of the words dyspepsia, meaning indigestion, and cola nuts, a key ingredient in the Pepsi formula. The original Pepsi Cola logo in 1898 was a very stylized, hand-drawn version of the word Pepsi Cola. After that, in 1905, the logo was changed to be more modern and to fit the company's new and changing image. Looking at these changes, it's easy to see how the company was changing and evolving as it went along, but the company wasn't done changing there. It had many rebrandings in its future, and we'll explore them all now. So with the company's history in mind, how has PepsiCo changed as of today? A more than $66 billion food and beverage company, $22 billion brands, touching consumers more than 1 billion times a day. And this is PepsiCo, consistently honored as best place to work. These days, Pepsi is everywhere, even in fast food places like McDonald's. So you have to wonder why, what is it that made Pepsi this popular? Or more specifically, what makes it stand out in a world where sugary drinks are around every corner? Whatever the reason may be, it's clear that Pepsi has been around for a long time and is going to be around for a lot longer. But that still leaves us with one more question. So where does this leave the future of PepsiCo? That's what we intend to find out. So we've been invited to one of their factories to meet some of their staff and find out just what it's like working for Pepsi. Hello, my name is Fraser Murray and I am a representative at PepsiCo. I have worked at PepsiCo for nearly three years now. I had dropped out of working at a supermarket for almost a year and I thought I need to go to somewhere new in my life so I thought I would give PepsiCo a visit. I would say the atmosphere is nice, all the employees here put the effort into it and I find it to be a new experience for me so overall I find working at PepsiCo is a very nice experience. The average number is usually 14,000 to 15,000 of both Pepsi cans and bottles but keep in mind there are other factories nationwide that produce the same amount of bottles and cans we make. This question would probably most likely be aimed at teenagers due to the fact that it is mostly teenagers who are always buying Pepsi like every day so with that 
A lot of uh, Pepsi always gets bought like nearly every day. The fizzy drink I enjoy and drink from time to time is Mountain Dew because I like the lemon taste that goes with it and it gives me a boost when I'm feeling tired on the days where I'm hard at work. Due to how many drinks that Pepsi has made over the years, I see the company evolving and growing larger as the years go on and hopefully I can be part of the company still when it comes to that. Due to how many fizzy drinks they are and how popular it's become and with how many people keep buying them, I see this evolving larger and larger into the future and with possibly brand new brands of fizzy drinks. It was my pleasure to answer these questions for you and I hope you enjoy the rest of your time here at PepsiCo. And there you have it, the history of one of the biggest companies in the entire world. It should be no surprise given that they have 70,000 workers across the globe, millions of dollars spent on advertising and marketing per year, well over 30 products within their brand and they are a brand rivaled only by Coca-Cola, their biggest competitor. But the story doesn't end there, and we don't even yet know how the story ends. But we do know one thing, whether it be called Brad's Drink or Pepsi, it'll be around for a long time. <laughs>